Get a dictionary. So, um, what's up, YouTube? Uh, man, well, first off, before I begin, no, I'm not participating in the no shave November thing. But something happened to my car. Now that I'm like 90% there with my mentality, I can talk about it. But this happened over the weekend around the 14th or the 15th, actually, technically. I'm posting an update in the middle of the week for you guys is because I said in my previous video under the comments last week is that I'm going to upload a bonus video Tuesday. Well, today's not Tuesday, and that's because... You know, things happen, cars get wrecked. Today, I just told my family, well, actually, I sent a mass text to my brother and my sister and my sister-in-law. I, I wanted to tell them to let, before I post on social media, this is what happened. Do not tell mom and dad. Isn't that a shame that you can be 50 years old and still be afraid of your parents? Let me tell, let me tell mom and dad. All right, that, let me do it. But now that I'm here, I wanted to let you guys know my car is damaged. So I'm practically ducking my parents for the time being. My mom don't need that stress. And you know, parents are like all lovey-dovey, like, are you okay? Are you okay? I just want to make sure you're okay. And then when everything is okay, then they start thinking, just like me. Everything was okay. I wasn't driving. Everyone, well, actually, it was just one person in the car. Um, he is fine. Cash wasn't in the car. That's that's to the person that said, am I and Cash all right? So initially, when I first heard the news, of course, I was upset. I'm a human being, stress level on 10, so I was like... Mm -hmm. And then I calmed down because it's true. Everything, everything happens for a reason. And it's true. It could have been worse. All right. Now, about that could have been worse thing, like, if I was driving the car and I died... Could I still say that? I'm just saying because you you feel you see people, you hear people say that all the time. So I'm just saying, but I am an advocate for everything happens for a reason. So now that I posted on social media, um, that means that I'm getting back to my old self. I just had to have some me time. And when I went to see my car, y'all, it was so bad. I called the people and they said, I called the people where the tow truck was and I called them and I said, well, is it bad? Is it repairable? She was like, no, it's definitely not repairable. It is in pieces. Pieces? Before I could even get in the truck, because you saw the truck, y'all. It is hard to get. I, I thought I had to get a tetanus shot after that. So I went in the car and I retrieved my book bag. My book bag. <laughs> So I went to my math class. I got my calculator out. You can even hear it. Now that's pieces. A calculator, y'all. Oh, a piece just, the piece just fell off. I feel like Jackie from Basketball Wives. But my calculator is in pieces. I can't, I can't even do the square root of shit. The good thing is full coverage, y'all. I am insured. And the best news is no one was injured. So I guess that that person wanted to Make my two-seater a one-seater. <laughs> Gigi's been with me for almost two years now. She took good care of me. And I wasn't even the one to kill her. It's for you, Gigi. Oh, shit. That's a new carpet. Hold on. And the, and so, but the truth is, I've been in a car accident before. That was my fault. That I was in the car was years ago. I was delivering a taco salad from Taco Bell to my mom to surprise her. And I was in a Dodge Neon. And it was in the back seat. The taco shell, it was in a seat belt too. I wanted to make sure it was intact because, you know, you swerving right, you swerving left. The taco shell is about to probably be a taco burrito by then. I looked in the back and I said, is my taco shell all right? That's for my mama. And as soon as I said that, I looked at the front. <laughs> I hesitated to call my dad because I knew he was going to beat my ass. But he said, are you okay? That's the most important thing. And yeah. But you know, when you get older and you're on your own insurance, Every ticket, it don't even have to be a wreck. It could be anything like a speeding ticket. You worry about your insurance. There's going to be a time in your life that you worried about your insurance. But uh, when, when my spirit came back into my body, 
I made sure I told a select amount of people and and they made me laugh. They they're finding my true self or you know my body is trying to meet my true self halfway. And so then I started Facebooking after I told my family members about it. I Facebooked and I Instagrammed and I tweeted, shaking my head, they're supposed to ease it in slow, then beat it up. From how that looks, you're lucky to be alive. What hit you? A tank? By Thor, man. Are you okay? No, a Pontiac. But the craziest thing is, well, actually, the, the ironic thing is, the last thing I posted on my social media, like Facebook, was on November 14th. And that said, goodbye, internet. What are the odds of that? If you feel me, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs up anyway, cause you will. Thumb, thumb, thumbs up. Cause you, cause you, cause you will. Thumb, thumb, thumbs up. <laughs> but with that being said, thumbs up. 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 Th